नमस्कार एंड गुड नून वेल ऑनरेबल चेयरपर्सन को चेयरपर्सन एंड द ऑफिस गैदरिंग सो प्लीज गो विद द माय टॉपिक इज इंश्योरेंस पेनिट्रेशन इन इंडिया विथ रेफरेंस टू एशियन नेशंस एंड डॉक्टर प्रशांत कुमार एंड मी माय सेल्फ representing nepal and the research club i am in the faculty of commerce this way from tiruvan university please so what is into insurance i am not going to detail over here go for the next slide please so the main major of performance of insurance industry are two parameters they are insurance penetration and insurance density please so what is insurance penetration that has already been discussed in the last session so even though let me tell you something about this one insurance penetration is defined as the ratio of premium under written in a gross in a given year to the gross domestic product that is gdp and the density is the insurance premium under written with the total population of the nation next please please The objective of the objective of the study, the major objectives to know the penetration status of insurance of the nation that is concerned with the India, to analyze the penetration level of India in comparison to Asian nation, and to analyze the determinants of insurance penetration. These are the three major objectives of the paper. Next, please. The methodological part concerned with this paper is. secondary numerical data ranging from 2001 to 2009 conceptual literature review is done with the available literature concerned to causes and determinants of insurance penetration in india the sample which is selected is totally based on convenient judgment sampling technique kolmogorov swinov as well as saprio wilkinson test is applied wow. for the normality wow. followed by parametric and non parametric test And the last 11th statistics is used to check the test of homogeneity of the variance and Thomson multiple comparison test, followed by the ANOVA is used in SPSS 15 version is used with the help of Microsoft Office 2007. Next please. The limitation of the study. The study is primarily based on the secondary literature and the data. The study covers the period of 2001 to 9 only. Out of 48 countries, only 24 countries of the Asia are taken for the study. The determinants of the penetration of insurance is solely extracted from the past literature. Next, please. So here is a table showing the insurance density and penetration. कोई भी कर सकता है ये काम, लेकिन ये एक knowledge होना चाहिए. This is the insurance penetration in India. Three curves over there. Total life and non-life insurance penetrations. Next, please. Insurance density is over there. The curve showing the insurance density in India. So, concerned with the two, I diagram and the figure and the data. I would like to interpret the result that there is a steady increment in the insurance density of life insurance sector, which has increased from US dollar 9.1 in 2001 to US dollar 47.4 in 2009. Likewise, penetration of life sector has gone up from 2.15 percent in 2001 to 4.6 in 2009. The penetration of non-life sector of insurance is in stagnation for the last around nine years at around 0.60 percent. Similarly, the insurance density has not shown any drastic changes, just reeling from US dollar 2.4 in 2001 US dollar to 6.7 in 2009. So the next slide concerned with the trade of Indian insurance penetration type is total insurance penetration method was parametric test as well as non-parametric test. And the interpretations, both the Carl Pearson and SPM and row correlations. What I got the result from the data method revealed that there is a positive linear strong correlation between year and the total insurance penetration since the p-values of both the test statistics have less than 0.25. This implies that insurance penetration has a positive or increasing trend with respect to the time that is year. Next slide, please. A comparative study of Indian insurance penetration to other countries type total insurance penetration. Kolmogorov, Svinov, and Saprio Wilkinson test has done for the normality of data. Since the Japan, Singapore, Philippines, Vietnam, Saudi Arabia have shown no normality nature because of the p-values of their Saprio Wilkinson statistics are less than 0.05. 
non paralytic test has been carried out. Test of homogeneity of variance, the level starts with a 0 0.000 p value. There is the probability value suggests thumb hand multiple tests that is uh, also known as the T test and it's a one way ANOVA analysis. Thumb hand test interpretation the thumb hand test reveal that reveal that the average Sanjay. total incidence penetration of India Sanjay. is significantly different from yes, the average of total incidence penetration of all uh, other countries except countries Israel, Malaysia, Thailand, Lebanon, public Republic of China and Jordan. Next please. So this is the rank, uh, this is the table, it's showing the insurance penetration in the total, type is total. India has got the 8th rank, Taiwan got the 1st rank, as well as the 2nd table, please. And the Saudi Arabia is, uh, I mean, is uh, satisfied with the 23rd rank. Interpretations, India has attained the 8th rank of the average of total insurance penetration of among 23 countries. Taiwan has the 1st rank and Saudi Arabia has the 23rd or the last thing of their average total insurance penetration. So continuing with the total, I mean insurance penetration, I have done with the, this uh, life insurance penetration. The yeah, India yeah. has attained sixth rank of average life insurance penetration among 20 countries. Taiwan has the first rank and Saudi Arabia has the 20th or last rank for the, for the average life insurance penetration. As well as the same test followed for the another aspect, that is India has attained the 16th rank for average non-life insurance penetration among 20 countries. South Korea has the first rank and the Bangladesh has the 20th or the last rank for their average non-life insurance penetration. Next please. So according to my study and the literature which are concerned during my literature review, I find some causes are the determinants of low insurance penetration concerned with India with concern to the Asian nation. That, that are, could be summarized as follows. Narrow and strict tax exemption limit, lack of insurance awareness, suspect about insurance companies, lack of innovative insurance product, lack of dynamic insurance agents, corporate governance level in insurance companies is questionable, development of new model of insurance is still Lack of quicker grievance reversal mechanism, traditional coverage of so-called higher class, especially the product, untapped huge rural market, lack of insurance counselling. And from my side, launching of innovatives for the, I mean this uh, concern with the suggestion and recommendation with the literature and the data concern. I would like to suggest with the launching of innovative diversified product by the insurance companies in India, decentralization of regulatory authority to have a rural access and proper awareness of insurance company, overall enhancement of quality of agent army, attraction and bank assurance, increase in tax benefit to common citizen, more tax benefit to increase insurance corporation, special benefit to rural area, focus insurance companies. And before, before concluding this one, I would like to tell you that the, whatever the concern with this my paper, as you know, uh, this is recently on 1st April 2011, there was a special report on the population of India in the Hindustan Times. So which has been quoted over there, the, because uh, the over there is that we reach around 1.21 billion of the total population. And according to that report, by the year 2030, the India would be the, the most populous country in the world and total population is being projected 1.53 billion. And if you compare our nation, that is India, with the Republic Republic of China, the China is going to reach 1.46 billion by that uh, particular period. So having a, such a wonderful population, the human resources, Still, the insurance companies are not able to penetrate to the grassroots level. So, with this, I mean, this uh, very, very short, I mean, this uh, review of literature, and other things else, I tried my level best to present my, I mean, this opinion concerned with the insurance penetration in India. If there is any queries, heartily I welcome and thank you for giving me the chance. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Prashant Kumar. It seems that you are a hardcore researcher and uh, using a good number of statistical tests uh, before coming to conclusion and we have come to know more about uh, not only the insurance penetration in our country uh, visa we also have come to know about how things are happening in many of the Asian countries uh, time permitting uh, certainly I think the 
many of our participants will be interested to interact with you uh, and you have used a good number of both parametric and non-parametric tests. Thank you. Now we